You're the one I love, darling, say you're mine. I've got a ring for you, and I'll put it on your finger if you'll only say you'll come and go away with me. A trip to Paris, live in L.A. Hey, no pretty baby. It was sure a lucky day, the day that I met you. How I do remember it was down by the waterfront. experimental scene, how many people were involved worldwide? Well, it's kind of like this. Uh, there's Buddy, me, Frogs, that duo uh, from overseas in Asia, a couple guys in Europe, you know, the organist, Frankenstein, whatever his guy's name is, and uh, just a few other people. But, you know, we had a hard time getting gigs because people just didn't dig what we were doing. So, therefore, you had to make a meager living, is that it? You really couldn't make much money at performing the music that you loved, is that it? Money? Hell, we didn't make no money. We didn't even know how to spell the word money back in that time. Man, you, you's on your own. I made just enough to keep myself in cod liver oil. So in other words, what you're trying to say is that there is no money in this kind of music. Is that what you're trying to say to me, Mao? Well, about the time uh, JFK was president, about the time we started to make a little bit of money. Wasn't much, but it was a vast improvement over the 50s. 
And now, I'm just coasting off the residue of those glory days. say nigger without pissing people off. In a new light, the word nigger's passe, isn't it? Kind of. Coon doggo, negro, spear chucker, all those words. Overrated. Burrhead, kinky top, now those are top notch. Six footer, that's a new one. But the sand nigger's public enemy number one now. In deep thought, mm, negrid, sort of a slang for nigger, but a camel jockey is at the top of the charts. Foosball chic, that's C-H-I-C, that means they're in vogue. The foosball chic's driving Trans Ams, you know, A-Rabs. <laughs> 